Hello everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel, I'm Tom Ravs and today I'm going to be talking about the goings on at Wolves over the last 24 hours or so. It's been quite a roller coaster of a couple of days, lots of things have changed at the club, lots of people have gone out, lots of people have come in and transfers have started to come rolling in as well so I'm going to talk about those briefly later on. But first of all it was Nuno Espirito Santos that was revealed this morning as the Wolves manager officially in a press conference. He sounded very positive. He was asked, you know, you've had offers from Champions League clubs, you've had, you've managed at Porto and Valencia, why Wolverhampton? It's not a particularly well-trodden path as Tim Spears later pointed out. He was quite uh, enthusiastic, it seemed, about the project. He's going to be building a squad now and a team, challenge at the top of the, of the championship and he was quite non-committal as to the targets for next season in his press conference, but it has been rumoured that Jeff Shee is now looking for automatic promotion. Laurie Del Rimple as well pointed out during the press conference that we've got this pre-season tour to Austria in July and he wants to take a squad to Austria that's going to be the main squad for most of next season. Which probably suggests that we're going to see a lot of transfers coming in over the next couple of weeks. It struck me as well how good Nuno was at speaking English. Instantly, I thought he was quite clear and precise in what he was saying. Obviously, his vocabulary is not as good as it possibly could be, but once he's here for a couple of months and he immerses himself in British culture, then I'm, I'm sure he'll pick more slogans and things like that. But he did have a bit of a laugh with the media as well today, which he's renowned for. So hopefully we'll have a good-spirited Nuno as the, as the season goes on and hopefully the more successful we are, the more jovial he'll become. So to come to Laurie Del Rimple today, he was quite vocal part of the press conference and then he had an interview with the Wolves player later on. He thanked Paul Lambert and the other staff for the job that they've done but he also pointed out that some of these staff have been here for 10 plus seasons which I think suggests how stale we've possibly become after a long period of having these managers around. He did point out how stubborn they had been over the last two appointments demanding that they kept the Rob Edwards and Tony Daly, Pat Mountain all were part of each appointment. It has become clear as well over the last day or so that Kevin Thelwell is going to be continuing in his role as a, in recruitment. I'm not sure whether I agree with that because he's had a checkered history of bringing players in. He has had a few hits with a phobie, Kevin McDonald. With George Mendes input last year, it's difficult to tell who was bringing who in. I'm not sure how I feel about Kevin Thelwell at the moment. We'll give him the benefit of a doubt for this transfer window, I think. If we've signed five flops and they're all they were flops then questions have got to be asked. Darimpo was keen to point out that George Mendes is not in charge of our recruitment but he will advise and he will suggest players for us to take. Thelwell does have a role at the club. It should be a dialogue between the few of them. It should be Nuno saying to Thelwell right we need a centre back. Thelwell goes to Mendes we need a centre back. We've got these two or three that we're looking at. Mendes can bring another two or three. Let's have a look at those. Then Farewell, Nuno, sit down together and talk about which ones they want. I hope that that's the sort of setup that we're going to have. And if that is the case, then we've got a good recruitment drive going on. Hopefully this sort of system of, so long as there is good communication between the three parties there of Nuno, Farewell and Mendes, I think we could have a really good squad being built if that is the case. Finally, on the press conference, Del Rimple pointed out that the reason Lambert was removed as the manager is because of his performance during April. He was questioned about Jeff Shee's comments near the end of the season where he said that where he said that Lambert was a good manager and he had good leadership skills and he enjoyed the coaching and all that sort of stuff was very, very positive. But then Del Rimple pointed back to the consistency. Since he took over, Wolves have been very, very check. And ultimately, that is not what Fosum or anybody at Wolves really wants going forward. They want consistency. And they did show that a little bit through March, but then through either side of that, February and April, there were two pretty poor months. He didn't have a leg to stand on there. He'd had six months to try and convince Fosum, but he didn't seem to have the ability to be able to build a team strongly from the back, which moves me on nicely to... Nuno's first two sign-ins. Wolves announced the capture of Ryan Bennett last night from Norwich on a free transfer. Quite ironic because Paul Lambert once paid th over three million pounds to buy him for Norwich. But he was out of contract, he's a solid centre-back and he's got good experience. Obviously he was a Thelwell signing, there, was, there can't have been any Nuno influence. Nuno has had a reputation in the past for signing centre-backs and building on a strong defence. If you look at his Valencia team he had uh, Mustafi who's now at Arsenal and he had 
Otamendi who is now at Manchester City and both have gone for big transfer fees. The other sign-in, it hasn't been confirmed yet but it's been rumoured that he's been at the Molyneux at Compton to be doing uh, fitness tests and medicals and stuff and that's Phil Ofosu Aye, a Ghanaian right back who's been playing in Germany for Eintracht Frankfurt over the last couple of years. I look at him on YouTube, a couple of clips, seems okay but it's difficult to tell with players like that. You don't, you know, it's going to be a lot of Wikipedia scouting from us fans over the next couple of months. I think we're just going to be patient, give these boys a chance, try and get behind them. We've got a massive squad as well, so I don't think it'll be too long before we see a couple of outs. It has been rumoured that Huddersfield have been sniffing around Dave Edwards. But of course, Nuno hasn't had a chance to look at the players yet because they're still on their holidays. They won't be back in pre-season training for another couple of weeks. So I don't think there'll be any major outs until he's had a look at all of them. I can imagine up to 10 12 players could be leaving the Wolves. Now, Helder Costa, still big question marks about him, whether or not he'll be staying at the club. I really hope he does. Perhaps Nuno coming in might have swayed his mind, but I think we need a marquee signing over the next couple of weeks to, to really cement Costa staying. If we sign somebody, a striker or somebody exciting, for 10, 15 million, that will make Costa sit up and think, my best chance of playing in a Premier League team and being successful in the Premier League will be here. That's what we need to convince him. Done that with a manager now, we've got a high calibre manager in. But thank you very much for watching this video and thank you for the support over the last couple of days. Lots of new subscribers and thank you for that. If this is your first time watching one of my videos then why not subscribe? It's free and click the little bell as well and then you get updated on all my videos and I'll be giving regular videos now throughout this post-season or pre-season, however you want to see it. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye-bye.